Hey guys, it's the Average Joe back with another video, and today we're looking at the Pataka Mag Easy Folio for the iPad Pro, specifically the 12.9 inch fifth generation. Uh, and I picked this up because right now I'm using the Apple uh, Smart Folio. Um, I do have a matte black D brand skin on it, and but this one is for the fourth generation iPad Pro. And the reason why I wanted to ch ch check this out is because I didn't want to fork over another $100 for the fifth generation one. So I do currently have this one, uh, probably this, I'm probably gonna sell this one um, because here's the reason why. I, here's my iPad Pro. I do use a tempered glass screen shield. So when I put it in, uh, you can see that because the iPad Pro 12.9 inch fifth generation is a little thicker than the fourth one, uh, there isn't like a full seal, like a proper fold. Now, I, th I if I remember correctly, when I used a regular paper-like screen shield or a thinner one, this wasn't as big of an issue, but after I put the tempered glass one on, it did become more of an issue. So uh, that's why I'm looking to just get rid of this one. And I want to try this Pataka Mag Easy and kind of just do a little quick comparison for you guys of the two folios. So um, let's get into it. So this is the box right here. And up top, you just got the name and the info. And at the bottom, you see here, it says, it's got a magnetic attachment, easy access to, to features, auto sleep awake, lightweight, it fits with their Magazy case too, um, and it's also got this dual stand option that you can use. Um, and on the back, there's a little bit more information about the product itself. And let's just get into the box. So to open this, you wanna kind of pull the tab, pull the tab, and there it comes. Um, now, I will be honest, full disclosure, I did buy this used. Um, but it's like new, uh, it comes with all the original packaging and everything. So I just want to let you guys know. Um, but yeah, so this is the unboxing, um, of it. And there's a little thank you card and there you go. That's it. Uh, then we'll just put this, pull this into frame and just right off the bat, it is very light. Uh, let's pull this off and put that aside. And here we are. We are met with the case. It's, I got it used, but it is like new condition. It is in good condition. It's got some dust on it, but not a big deal. So I want to check the quality of this compared to, I guess, maybe some of the cheaper options on Amazon. Um, now, this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, just installation instructions, some QR codes, I guess, for PDF version of that. And just off the bat, um, I'm not gonna lie, I am a little disappointed in this case um, because the microfiber cloth for the iPad is a lot softer. And from my experience, the Pataka one, the inner lining, it is not any different from those cheap $10, $15, $20 ones from Amazon. Uh, so right off the bat, I am not happy right now with this. Um, I'm not satisfied at all. Uh, and the outside silicon, um, obviously it's not gonna be as nice as Apple's because Apple, had, you, they use fluoroelastomer on all their silicon, but this is just, a more regular silicon. So I'm gonna tell you right now, this, don't waste your money on this. Get a cheap one from Amazon, this is not worth it. Um, yeah, you're just paying for the name and the packaging and that's about it. There's nothing on this that separates it from the other ones. Um, just wanna check really quick, so I mean, the sides of these are, are these three folds are the same. 
The camera holes look the same as well. So if you did want to get a Pataka one or, you know, get this one, you could get a D-brand skin and put it on this if you want to make it feel a little nicer. I might do that. Uh, I'm not sure, but let's see, let's see how it looks with the iPad in it. So I have my iPad right here and I just snap it into place and it holds and there we go. You see how it just folded flat, no issues. Um, everything is pretty good. Um, now the advertise this is kind of like a s simple like kind of way to push the sleeve uh, the the fold uh the top part off uh which it is it works very well it doesn't require a lot of effort and not to stand it up you want to just fold it that way and just want to tuck it in now there are no magnets here which is another disappointment um for this case so it does stand up like this in landscape uh, for viewing angles and also for this kind of typing angle. But yeah, I mean this, <laughs> is there a magnet? I don't think there is a magnet. There's not a lot of like tug or force full, like anything really uh, pulling this. Um, ah. Yeah, and it is gonna hold your iPad. The magnets are strong. You can see I'm shaking it. But when you compare it to this, um, you fold it here, you'll see there is that magnetic kind of click to hold it in place. So that will hold it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think for what this is going for, I think it's going for like 50 bucks or something. It is, I mean, thankfully I got it used for, I think a decent price. So. You know, I might not even, it might not even be worth it for me to return it or sell it. Um, but yeah, this is definitely not worth the amount of money they are charging. So if you're considering getting this, I would rather you look at the cheap ones on Amazon because essentially what this is, is basically, it's like they bought one of the cheap ones off Amazon and then just added this little dip, dimple right here with the logo on it. I don't know if you can see that right there. And then just throw it, throw it in their box because there's not much here that separates this. Uh, the the binding is a little bit more stiff, I think, from compared to the Amazon ones. But other than that, yeah, this, this is not worth it, guys. Uh, pass this one over and uh, look for something else cheaper on Amazon. All right, I hope this video helped you guys out. I'll have it linked below. Um, and if you found this helpful, please consider subscribing. Give this video a like and also let me know what folios are you guys using and if there's one that you think is good and comparable to apples uh for the fifth gen let me know so i can check them out all right guys take it easy